Hi Sagittarius, here's a general look at your solar chart for September 2011. Uh, every year at this time the Sun is in a part of your solar chart which is to do with image, presenta presentation, what others think, how others see you, or maybe it's something that you represent, something that belongs to you. Um, so at the moment in September you're going to be taking worldly responsibilities and uh, perhaps you know pressures uh, a little bit more seriously or having to um, because there could be just a little bit more on your shoulders um, and it could come in the form of feelings that you've got to come up to some sort of a mark or you're very kind of concerned with the outer trappings in 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 some way um, and looking you know looking good um, being seen in the right light by others that that kind of feeling Professionally, um, it might mean you're dealing with um, authority, bureaucracy, uh, just having to take more care um, uh, about doing things perhaps by the book or by somebody else's rules of their game. And uh, you feel it's important to exhibit, as I say, a certain standard. Um, and um, you could, you know, get a little bit frustrated at times because... Uh, you like space and you could feel that you're restricted um, and that is mo most especially I, s I would say before the 18th of uh, September um, and feeling a bit touchy, feeling a bit maybe uh, like you're keeping your cars close to your chest and you're sort of walking a bit of a narrow line there at times in certain situations with certain people uh, now, but before mid-month, uh, up until the 14th, you'll, there's likely to be somebody around who's actually aiding and abetting you in all of that area there as well. Uh, could be a friend or it could just be a sort of uh, a sociable kind of um, environment uh, in some ways. Possibly a female who's an ally, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and uh, it's just somebody who is supportive and invaluable perhaps to um, achieving a goal or to helping you along, you know, and being perhaps quite receptive. Uh, the mental focus uh, up until the uh, 25th is going to be um, on that outer image discussions could be around all of that sort of things, the professional area, business things, um, um, uh, what sort of format something's taking, how others are, what, what the others' opinions are on a sort of a wider stage and you being very much keeping your ear to the ground there, watching your back a little bit as well, could be around property, could be around... Um, finances um, and just you know your general life direction as well and where you want to get to from where you are now uh, so it could be ongoing but you very much your mind engaged uh, with all of that stuff between the 8th and the 25th um, and uh, you may be putting more mental effort into coming across well, you know, and um, understanding the ropes and playing it their way sometimes, uh, communicating, um, you know, in a, uh, in a way which um, helps you get what you want, but also validates, you know, uh, the, uh, what they want too. You could find, though, with Venus there up until the 14th, that you do feel respected you do feel recognized uh, um, in, in a very favorable way by others. So that's the string of energy to tap into, really. Now, um, now yes, um, and after the 14th, well, actually, it's still going to be a really sociable energy, uh, triggering um, friendships, perhaps, or group gatherings of some kind and um, uh, it will be uh, you feeling um, safe and supported um, within a, a group, uh, maybe some sort of group that's working for a common cause. 
uh, and again it's sociable for professional or personal reasons and some of you could be making new connections very good for networking and there could be a few little surprises there especially uh, between the 14th and the 20th some unexpected change or some sort of renewal which comes um, in a way that uh, keeps you a bit on your toes uh, there could be a little bit going on inside of you a little bit of conflict going on inside of you um, and some maybe some um, mm, um, moments of um, mm, yeah you having to just uh, tread a, a certain line there which is maybe a little bit narrow you know and then from the 18th Mars has got you putting uh, physical energy into adventure and exploration this is far more up your street um, being far more outward, interested in what's going on around you, ready to spread your wings, getting the eagle eye view, getting things in perspective, not feeling so inward, um, much uh, more upbeat uh, energy. And um, some of you could be traveling, some of you could be connecting with foreign cultures or just uh, people who are different to you. Uh, some of you, you could uh, also... Um, be using communications equipment more um, that's transport but of course it's, it's this what I'm using here and uh, um, connecting with others it's all about communicating it's all about higher education there from the 18th and um, maybe a sort of a higher reality for some of you and listening you know to more expanded awareness and intelligence and um, getting into meditation and the like also you spreading the word for something, promoting something. Now this is far more earthy. You know, you could be doing that and you could be, there could be um, um, an ebb and flow um, or toing and froing related to you uh, beating the drum on something that you want others to know about. And so after the 18th Mars helps you to get the bigger picture and you're not so tied up with the knotty details which as I say is more your thing however be careful not to overlook the knotty details the small print because it's always um, advisable but just feeling more I suppose feeling more um, extrovert and upbeat um, from the middle of the month around about the middle of the month onwards now every month I talk about the slower moving planets the outer planets from Jupiter out to Pluto if you want to know a little bit more detail look at the website but to, just to shorten the the video I'll, I'll just kind of go over them quite quickly a kind of as a recap here and um, mention um, who they might be affecting well that's to say that the, the the outer three, Uranus, Neptune, and um, Pluto. So your ruling planet, Jupiter, is now in Taurus, um, and that means that it's going to be opening up new opportunities for you over the next several months um, for you in the employment sector to do with the work um, you do and how you do it, and uh, just bringing um, opportunity knocking at your door it's also connected in with health as well, your own, somebody else's, and uh, Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance, um, <clears throat> and uh, also it's a teacher planet. So that, to have Jupiter there bodes well for improvements through you learning, through um, maybe mm, mm, trying different things, um, how to, excuse me, <coughs> improve health. Um, and well-being uh, for yourself or others and you'll have you generally tend to have uh, benefit from this transit of Jupiter because you'll be learning a heck of a lot and developing um, new skills or interests or lifestyle choices also with Jupiter here um, something to do with teaching or you being the teacher or the guide uh, something to do with you working uh, harder in communications uh, um, is there 
and um, you also working with a teacher or a guide uh, yourself and benefiting uh, from that. So as I say, work opportunities coming in your direction, opportunities to improve health coming in your direction. Uh, just remember that Jupiter is about expansion and abundance and sometimes you can get too much too fast and uh, um, or you might think that you have to put all your eggs in one basket when the first thing turns up. So it's a kind of a mix and match thing and you'll get to know that really uh, the future is kind of opening up for you. So don't get too scattered and don't have too many fingers in too many pies related to service you give, work you're doing, where you're doing it. Um, you need to apply structure there and that's also uh, goes for your health as well. Um, just give things a chance to start, you know, showing results. Now Saturn is very good um, at um, helping you to find the evidence of things and anything progressive, um, this long transit of Saturn is going to um, help you slowly uh, walk the path towards healing, ch change, um, new beginnings um, <clears throat> um, and actually uh, connecting with a very different uh, type of uh, people who can maybe help you on the way to that. You could be thinking very differently about um, yourself and uh, also getting into something or, or a way of being that you've been wanting to get uh, into gear with for a very long time. I mean, it could be years and years. And Saturn, on the one hand, tends to hold something away from us and make it more difficult for us to achieve it. But on the other hand, um, it gives us a sort of um, a rope to climb or, or um, a structure. Um, and so a Saturn rules time, slowly allow this structure, um, step by step, um, to um, be created, and you've got to have a hand in that too, and you will get there, you know, Saturn is a builder planet, and it will help uh, bring very different people, ideas, very sometimes very futuristic, very unconventional concepts into your world and, and all of this will, as I say, be gradual, nothing happens fast with Saturn. Could even be um, uh, centered around the collective consciousness and working towards a common goal. Uh, that's you and uh, certain others. And uh, Uranus, well, Uranus moved uh, into a fellow fire sign last March and will be there in Aries for seven years. And that's good news for you. That means there could be more fun on offer, more, en more enjoyable moments, especially through children, young people, but also the children, certain children in your life could be subject to dramatic change, be, be kind of up and down um, and keep you on your toes. Um, just don't let them run you ragged, that's all. Um, because the Uranian energy is in the area of your solar chart to do with offspring and um, don't you just love them, you know, <laughs> but you ha that is the area where it's kind of unpredictable at times. The fact that the aspect is a very good one bodes very well though for things kind of evening out and panning out okay, but you Sagittarians um, uh, who are within the degree of where Uranus is, um, which would be Usagi's born 23rd to the 28th of November, round about there, or up until five degrees of Saji rising are going to feel uh, the vibration mostly in September. Uh, y you're the ones who are kind of feeling the winds of change and, 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 the, and the boat rocking uh, the most at the moment. And it's not just about uh, children, it's also about romantic partners, friendships, uh, love relationships, also foreign lands, um, possibly uh, you hooking up with somebody from a very different background to your own. Neptune has reversed back into Aquarius, so it's going to, accept, um, it's going to affect very late Sagis, but actually also very early Sagis. So, so, but it's not going to be, it's, it's an opportunistic um, 
um, aspect really. It's uh, not a bad one at all. Um, Neptune is just going to stimulate imagination, intuition, uh, your psychic ability. Neptune rules the pineal gland, um, and it can, but it can bring kind of blurred boundaries and misunderstandings and cross wires with brothers, sisters, you know, also brothers and sisters. Over many years, um, Pluto is evolving you through the material side of life. Oh, I didn't tell you uh, which dates for Neptune. So, for you Sagis, uh, where Neptune is, that's uh, you born 19th to the 21st, 22nd, or with the last couple of degrees of Sagi rising, and also you born in the first uh, day um, or two of uh, Sagi, or the first day, uh, the first, sorry, the first degree of Sagi rising. Now, over many years, uh, Pluto is, you know, very subtly underpinning things and um, manifesting situations around you. Well, you've got to make a decision about where your bottom line is, what you value the most, what you're prioritizing. Um, and uh, uh, property could come into that, money could come into that, finances. So you want to be in control of, of the property and the finances, but on the same time, at times, you'll feel threatened, um, like somebody's kind of holding you to ransom in a way um, and so eventually you just got to discover that you got to go not maybe for you know on the, on the traditional way but you got to go for what makes you feel good and on the material side of life try to put things in place and it's not just material either about money property and the way you live um, and your lines of supply it's about um, um, nourishment it's about foodstuffs, you know, and again, you deciding um, how much of that you need to be in control of and how much you can just leave it to others to, to, to feed you with. Um, and um, so some of you might get a bit obsessed with all of that. Um, and you're just fine with the balances. A new Sagi is born from November the 26th to the 29th of, um, uh, of November. Or with two to six degrees of Sagi rising, you're going to feel this vibration mostly this month. And from the 22nd to progressive phase, when uh, friendships, new connections, or group gatherings are going to be highlighted, uh, that's it for September. If you know your rising sign, listen to that too. You could also try uh, listen to your moon sign if you know that. Um, it'll either add to or subtract from what I said here. Um, it's up, for you to, up to you to make up your mind. And I will see you the next time.